Let's take a quick look at a few of the basics on how to merge cells here in Microsoft Excel. Okay, so I put in some sample data here. Now you might notice that animals in the world crosses over two cells, but it's only in this first cell right here. So if I wanted to merge this across, because I'd like this to be centered over the top of my other data, what I need to do is select both of these cells just by holding shift and clicking. So now I have these two cells selected and then find this icon in your toolbar. It's most likely underneath home for you, no matter if you're on Mac or PC. And this one is merge and center, but I have a few drop down options. In this case, you could just merge the cells, merge across or merge and center. I'd like to just merge and center, which is going to center my text. See, it changed my paragraph style. I could left the line, but it's aligned to the center. And it also merged these two cells together. So now this text is centered across these two cells. If I had four cells selected, it would have centered it across all four. When I click that again, it's gonna unmerge these two, and then it's gonna look at all four of these. And I just shift clicked out here to select all of them and I could merge and center here. So now animals in the world is centered across all four of these. Here's a question for you though. What happens if there's data in this cell and I wanted to merge across these three? Well, more than likely it's gonna tell you when you click merge, it's gonna give you a bit of an alert that says, hey, merging cells only keeps the upper left value and discards all other values. In this case, the upper left value is the animals in the world, which is in A1. So it's gonna discard C1, this 145 right here. So if I click okay, 145 goes away, animals in the world are still there. So that is what happens when you merge these cells together. So you can see how quickly you could merge and center a bunch of these cells to create the different formatting of your data that you would like here in Excel.